You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Ed with your WMAR 2 News update and body camera videos released from a deadly shooting involving deputies in Hartford County. We do want to warn you that some may find this video disturbing. It's a cane, it's a cane, it's a cane, it's a cane! <laughs> Ceasefire! Ceasefire! This happened back in April in Forest Hill. This video was released by the Attorney General's Office, which handles investigations into deadly shootings involving law enforcement. Investigators say the deputies were responding to reports of a man who was suicidal. The video shows the man, identified as 53-year-old John Fauver, pulling something out of his truck and then pointing at the, at the deputies. That's when they shot and killed him. The AG's office says that it was a cane and not a gun. Harper County Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylor initially refused to turn over the body camera video to the AG's office, but had did so per a court order. The state's attorney in Harper County recently announced that those deputies would not be facing any charges, but the AG's office says that their investigation is still ongoing. While well, Baltimore Police Sergeant is still in the hospital more than a week after he was dragged by a car for a couple of blocks during a traffic stop. The Paternal Order Police says Sergeant Kenneth Ramberg is receiving physical therapy at the University of Maryland Shock Trauma. Investigators say that he was seriously injured while trying to pull a driver over on June 28th. A driver sped off dragging Ramberg for a couple of blocks. Less than 24 hours later, a man named Joseph Black was arrested. His next court date is scheduled for July 27th. A portion of North Avenue in East Baltimore is going to be closed in both directions for up to six weeks as crews continue to repair a sinkhole. Right now that road is closed between Greenmount and Homewood Avenues. Several homes along the street have been condemned. At least three have been demolished over concerns that they would fall down. The sinkhole opened up last Saturday following heavy rains that caused a 115-year-old storm drain to collapse. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Looking at what we can expect for today, temperatures are going to be quite warm out there and a little bit on the humid side. So we're expecting to have the temperatures right around those mid to upper 80s and the humidity, the dew points, they'll hang around those 60s, 70s. So it's going to feel very muggy out there. And if you're going to the game tonight, well, it's going to start off great, but by the time we get to the seventh inning, it's going to have the chance for some thunder showers out there, but it's not going to be widespread. That's going to be reserved for Saturday morning, but then after that we get into Sunday, much drier Monday as well, but then the heat returns on Tuesday. Caesar, thank you and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for your news and weather while you're on the go. You can download the WMAR2news app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.